So we need to get on-site processing is I think what I'm getting off of that. That, that ferrying that back and forth is gonna suck. Yes. Not to say that we can't do it to start, but long term. Dig out a little chunk of a side room here so that we have somewhere to stick it. Well, yeah, I was I was thinking we can dig that spot out. I was, I was thinking we could build up into it, you know, so that way we can store crap in it. Yeah. But you know, yeah, I at least wanted to get an that. opening for the few ships that we have left. Yeah, get out the and there you go. Until the ship loses some weight, I'm kind of stuck. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm in a nose down position. I did not consider my decisions here very carefully. <laughs> wiggle, 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 wiggle. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> Wiggle, 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 come on, come out. <laughs> Gotta be careful I don't wiggle too hard and bust it up. Yeah. That's the problem, is this ship can leverage itself into destruction. <laughs> In kind of a unplanned fashion, but yeah. it worked. So now the kicker is: is are you building a production facility there? Working on it, yes. Okay. Digging on a spot for it real quick, and I'll place it and start building. And and by processing, is it is it a refinery or is it an assembler? Starting with the refinery. Okay, good, because that's what we need to do first, is refine shit. Yeah. Um, we're probably going to have to put, like, a port or something. Yeah. Do that. That'll be easy, we can just hook something up on in here. Well, I was, I was thinking, are we just building, like, a plumbing port off the side of the hangar? Do yeah, that, too. Quick access. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Um, the real question is, though, should I attempt to run up to Genesis to get this stuff processing? Um, that is a good question. Because I know I can get up to Genesis. It's it's the return flight that I'm concerned about. Yeah. I mean, I could come back really slow, but it's kind of. Uh... Kind of sketchy. Let me let me get a base in place. 
let's see. I should have most of the space for the refinery cleared out. <clears throat> Gold. Silver. I need to find silicon. Because I forget what silicon looks like on the surface. Oh, yeah, I have no idea. Well, I used to know is the problem. <laughs> Silver. Hopefully, it's in. We've got a stash of it inside of our crater space. Uranium, silicon. I found some. Beautiful. And uranium and magnesium. Oh, I've hit the jackpot. Nice. And ice. Oh, beautiful. It's like we picked a good crater then. Yes. All right. So I know where it is. I just need to offload this stuff because the ship's going to get too heavy. <laughs> hmm. I'm almost tempted to eject everything I have. and Actually, I'm tempted to eject all the nickel that I have because I know we can get more nickel. Yeah. Right. Rejecting nickel. All right. Because I want that silicon. I want that silicon. Yeah, we we got lucky with this crater for sure. I think I'm going to use this crater to access it. All right. So that I don't have to go in vertically. I can go in horizontally. Uranium, platinum, iron, we got it all here. Nice. Let's see, what do I need? I need five more large cell tubes, a few more motors, more computers, and then a bunch of steel plate. Alright, all right, let the real mining begin. Yay! Drops land in the crater? Confused. Do I know what? Nox, I'd be more fortunate if those drops landed in the crater. What drops? I was confused. I wonder if it's those unknown si that unknown signal. Maybe. ability of Mega Miner just to be able to plow into any, you know, any crater and keep going straight right. without having to kind of carve out clearance. Yeah. Ooh. We'll get back to that level of awesomeness at some point. I demand it. <laughs> <laughs> we will get there eventually. Eventually, we gotta get back. We gotta get down to the plane. So. Yes. We did one of those earlier, and it was just a little bit of ball with a beacon, basically. The spear right as he got there. So I think they're, they're probably randomized. Biggest question is that I don't know if any of them are off, if any of them are hostile.
Yeah, mining is not nearly as fast and efficient as it once was. Because I keep having to, to back out and then go back in and readjust. So now that's the, those sneak lines of Mega Miner. <laughs> Assembler's not wanting to make things. But well, spoiler. Oh, spoiler. If you press the button, you get a surprise. Oh, you're yeah, on the Yes. Because I need these last few components to build the refinery. Gotcha. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, while you're up there, figure out how much silicon we need for um, solar, solar cells. Okay. Since we're gonna need that next. Well, there's. There's the two. Here's I'm shy on. There it is. What? That's what I'm claiming. I'm losing all shit. There's the motors, there's the two. Is, what be a good surprise? Guess time will tell. You got Knox four minutes. It. it may be useful. We'll find out. Kilometer out. Nothing too crazy, but I'll take it. What is it? 
10 motors. No, oh, I can't get it anymore. That's 10 motors and 58 steel plate in it. Oh, huh. so it's like drops. Yeah. All the more reason to have the solar fire, uh, solar scooter, <coughs> I guess. Yeah. It finally has a use. Yes. No, I can't, can't forget the booze. Come on. What about booze? Forgot the booze. Apparently we reminded. Apparently we reminded him he had booze to drink. I have it. We are drinking our booze. That's right, that's why I'm going through hydrogen so fast. We have gravity. Yep. Should I figure out why the hell it's like me? I thought maybe they nerfed it or something. The dampener's on and the jetpack on. It's always on. Yep. So used to working out in the void of space. Sometimes I miss the whole space. <laughs> Less solid things to hit at uncontrolled sure. speeds. Yeah. Right, refinery is built, but we still need power. Of some kind. <clears throat> How much power does one of those require? That I have no idea. Mm, I've created a tunnel. Yay, tunnels. That's probably the smartest move. As much as I wanted to make our base solar powered. Oh, well, we can once we get some resources. True. But I was saying, just build a small one, just so that we have power, but not. Don't need to put out some crap on there anyway. Almost made it to uh, silicon and uranium. Ooh. Actually, silicon and uranium is still about 100 meters away. Old Mega Mining terms, 100 meters was a couple of minutes worth. Yeah. In the new, in the new era, it's a little bit more. Just a little bit. Ideas also. <laughs> what about what? So also building a uh, battery along with it, so it's not just wasting it. Oh, with the uh, the uranium reactor. Well, with the solar cells, you have to. Oh, yeah, for sure. Meters, more large steel tubes. Ooh, reactor components.
lots of mining. It's like my, <laughs> it's like season <laughs> one all over again. Yes. Season two starts her off with mining, basically. Yeah. Season one started off with disassembly. <laughs> That's so cool. I know. Oh, did you ever figure out how much silicon you need? Solar panels, right? Solar cell. Solar cells. Let's get that one. Actually, right, there's some assemblers out here, so it's on the end. Originally tried to land Bertha, but because she is solely out, solely outfitted with uh, ion thrusters and her sheer size, she gets she can fly up to about one and a half kilometers outside of the surface of the moon. But anything below that, and she comes crashing down. So part of the problem is she doesn't have a lot of downward facing thrust. Yeah. Well, even like I to compensate. Sure. I tried flipping her around so that she had all her thrusts pointing down and it didn't slow her down at all. She weighs a little shit ton. Yeah, exactly. So if we do it, no spring chicken. I think if we attempt to land her, it'll be a uh, slight retrofit, adding some hydrogen thrusters in. Production. Solar cells, which are that one. Solar cells we need. There's left, left the three people. Right. Oh wow, there seems to be quite a bit down here too. Oh, we have, uh, we can make a lot of solar cells. Yeah. We've got just over 13k of silicon wafers processed. It takes just under three of those to make a single silver cell. Okay. Um, I don't make, 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 make all those. Just, just yes. The answer is yes. I need my couple of pieces for my, uh, whatchamacallit, the reactor built, and then we can I'll switch it to solely doing those. No, we need solar cells now. <laughs> <coughs> we need all the solar cells. <coughs> Alright, all right, well, what are we wedged up on? Uh, yeah, that would be, that'd be wedged. Okay, wiggle. <coughs> Dead yet? It feels like it. <clears throat> got the tail end of a cold, so I still got all the throat congestion shit. <clears throat> uh, yeah. <laughs> all right. I have <laughs> properly wedged. I properly wedged it.
dying. <laughs> Still dying over there? Slowly. There's two different kinds of solar panels. Oh, small ship, that's right. Yep. <laughs> it's a Usually size, they have, si they size have it difference. Around. That large ship was first. And apparently they decided to flip it. So we need 64 solar cells per, per one solar panel. Yep. Yeah, I knew that. I just need to know how much silicon we needed to solar cell. We have plenty. 